King's Court has fully spoiled, and we know everything, including effects and imports, baby. Make sure to look and subscribe and you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Everything for King's Court is here. Arcana, or Arcana Triumph Joker. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, and send one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight from your hand or face up in the monster zone to the graveyard, special summon this card. This card gains 500 attack times the combined number of cards in both players' hands. You can discard one card to destroy all face up cards. Your opponent controls with the same type monster. Spell a trap card, the discarded card. On a uh, question mark attack, so uh, base attack stats, just going to be 500 times the number of cards in the hand. All right. Joker's Knight. You can send one King's Knight, Queen's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your deck to the graveyard. It's about to summon this card from your hand. And if you do, this card's name becomes the sent monster's name until the end of the turn. It's pretty good. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one of the light warrior monsters in your graveyard, shovel into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. You can only use each effect of Joker's Knight once per turn. Um, that's just a mill one special summon, this. On a level five light warrior. Huh. That's gonna be busted. Imperial Boer. If you control no other face up monsters, you contribute this card. Take two different monsters from your deck among Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight, and either add to your hand or special summon each monster. Okay, okay, that's another level four. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, these are pretty interesting cards. So, Joker straight. Discard one card. Special summon one Queen's Knight from your deck. Add one King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand, and then immediately after this deck resolves, normal summon one monster. Doesn't say normal summon what I added to my hand, just so I get an additional normal summon. Okay. You cannot smash some monster from your extract for the rest of the turn except for light warrior monsters. Oh, good. I'm glad that clause is on there. During the end phase, if this card is in your grave, you can target one light warrior monster. Grave a trouble into the deck, and if you do add this card to your hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see here. Face down. Or face card fusion. If you summon a light warrior fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field. If you control a Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight, you can use one monster from your deck as fusion material. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, I kind of feel like giving too much of a generic clause on this might have been too busted. Thunderous or Thunder Speed Summon. During the main or battle phase, immediately after effect resolved, normal summon one level 10. Or if you control one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight, you can apply this effect instead. Add one level 10 Dark Monster question mark attack from your deck to your hand immediately after this effect resolves. Normal summon one level 10 monster. Okay. So this is your uh, Slifer support here for the level 10, by the way. That's why they have it worded that way. So, Joker's Wild. During the battle phase, send one spell card from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight. This effect becomes that spell's effect with that activated. Okay. During the end phase of this card in graveyard, target a light warrior monster and shuffle back into the deck. And if you do, add this card to your hand. Hmm. They really wanted recurability on these cards. Okay. Court of Cards. Okay. If you control no monsters and or only control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight, you can special summon one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your hand or graveyard. You can banish up to one of each Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your hand or graveyard. Draw the same number of cards that are banished. That's a draw three or right there. Okay. Magnet Induction. Oh, so we got other. Okay, so Magnet Induction. If you control a Magnet Warrior monster whose level is four or lower, Special summon one level four Magnet Warrior monster from your deck with a different name other than cards that you control. And for the rest of this turn, uh, after this card resolves, Magnet Warrior, Magnet Warrior monster control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Okay. Let's see here. Hyper Cannon. You must control Exceed Dragon Cannon or a fusion monster that list Exceeds Dragon Cannon as material. Holy crap. So your turn, target one of your banished union monsters placed on the bottom of the deck, or your opponent's turn, discard any number of cards with the same number of your opponent's cards, destroy those targets. Okay. Oh, import time. So, we are... I see why we banned Dryden now. Why, hello, F-Zero. So, we are getting Golden Eyes Idol in here, and Zorga. So it would make sense that they broke up 
the rest of the say here, but uh, F Zero, we're doing this. He's here. Finally, I'm so excited for this. So uh, Zoo's got another toy now. Okay. So we also got Guilty of Gear Freed. So this is two warrior monsters with different attributes. Uh, once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, the targets uh, this card quick effect you negate that effect and you destroy one card in the field. If this card was fusion summoned with using only monsters on the field as material, it can make a second attack. And once per turn, if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage regulation, quick effect banish one spell card. Uh, this card gains uh, attack equal to half its defense until the end of the turn. So it's big. So, uh, what else we got in here? So the other Tindangle monster that we've been missing for so long is finally coming in here as well. The Rose Warrior. Man, Burning Soul. Okay. If you do a face up, level leader, higher synchro monster. Oh, yeah. Uh, add one card from a graveyard to your hand, Burning Soul. Except for Burning Soul. Immediately after effect resolves, synchro summon monsters using monster you control. The rest of the turn, your opponent cannot target synchro monsters on the field or with card effects. Oh my god. There's the Pendulum Exceed cards. Target two face up in your Pendulum Zone. Uh, place those targets. So we get that. There's the Pendulum Exceed. Where's is where's the Dragon at? Are we getting him in here? So reprints, Queen's Knight. We we know all this. Oh, Arcana Extra. Queen, Gravekeeper Spy. Okay. So I see we are loading down for Dawn of Majesty here for reprints. So Majestic and Stardust. Rabbits in here. Yeah, this set is a... We, they are planning ahead, actually. So they did reprint the ZWs in here as well. Scrap Twins in here as well, for some reason. That's interesting. Cloud Castles in here. The Yang Zings, we, we needed these. Dolka got a much... Ooh! This needed a reprint. This card's been a lot of money. Even though Dinos aren't really good right now, this is very good. Wind Up Zen Mayo, also getting the reprint here is good. Once again, hey! Hey, I thought this card would have been in, uh, you know, the next, uh, the next Champion Pack series, or Astro Pack, or Tournament Store Pack, but alright. Uh, there's base F-Zero. Infinite Cards got a reprint here. I guess, this set is supposed to technically support the anime, so that makes sense. There's Rota, Ties of the Brethren, Duality got a reprint. And then there's this. Lightning Storm actually got a reprint here. Now... I don't think that this, uh, I don't think this means we're getting Lightning Storm in the Structure Deck. As much as I want to be like, Yahoo! Optimistic! Like, I don't think we're getting Lightning Storm in the Cyber Style Structure Deck. Because it is getting its reprint in King's Court here. Uh, that is some really bad news, and I, I, I do hate to be the bearer of bad news there. And I do want to be optimistic and say, yeah, but as of looking at this, no. Uh, and then the Wicked Dread Root, the Wicked Avatar, and the Wicked Eraser. So looking at this set, huh? What could the collector's rares be? Like, Slifer Obelisk and them? They're not in here. They didn't get reprints in here. That's interesting. I, I They could have done so much more with this set, I feel. But if this is a collector's rare, whoo, Oh my god, I'd be so excited. I hope Utopic Future Dragon is a collector's rare. But looking at the rest of this set, though, outside of F-Zero, the Lightning Storm reprint is nice. The Dolka reprint is pretty freaking good. The new Arcana Knight support... Um, I don't know what to really say about this. I'm kind of disappointed that, you know, when they, when they said they gave it a Dark Magician Souls Clause... You know, it's just the mill and then special effect is what they were talking about. No draw effect. I do kind of think being another warrior extender that this could see play. Um, because it's just a free extender onto the field. And then it can recur itself back for next turn. Just You can shuffle back whatever you did and add this back to your hand. So that is a thing. It is recurrable for like a discard fodder or something else along the way. But as of where I'm sitting right now... I don't really know too much about that, but it doesn't matter because freaking F Zero is here. All right, I might just play Zoo as a rogue deck just because of this card. So, guys, what do you think about this set? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Smash your love and crap out. Subscribe and so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later on the day with some more cool, awesome content. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace. Out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. 
Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mco 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcoolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.